Couldn't stand hearing another word out of his mouth. Didn't make a pass at you? Oh, no! Huh. I know you weren't expecting me, but I've been doing some thinking, and mm -hmm. I thought we should talk. Oh, that's okay. I was just going through some papers here and music and junk and figuring out what I can throw away. When we go to California, I want to leave behind as much as possible. And I think we should leave as soon as possible. Why? A couple of things. There's really not much reason to hang around in this town. You want some? No. There's no reason to rush off, either. Are you worried about something? Bo already knows that we're getting married. Lila told him. Hmm. What was his reaction? Well, he seemed real happy for us, but he wondered why it was happening so fast. He was real curious, Becky. I think he suspects you're pregnant. How? How would he possibly suspect anything? I don't know. I don't know. Look, what I think we should do is just move out to California right away and get married out there. <sighs> but, I mean, that's, that's... That's as if we're doing something that we're ashamed of. No. I just want to make sure nobody or nothing gets in our way. I'm uptight about Asa. I wouldn't believe the pressure he's suddenly putting on me. Mr. Buchanan? And Mr. Winslow Sandberg, sir. Where the hell have you been, Winslow? Uh, I've been working on Operation Drew Ralston, mind Fuhrer. Oh, yeah, you're doing real good in that department, you smooth talker. Can't even convince a kid to take a million dollars to stay single. What can I say, Asa? The guy is in love. And that coupled with the fact that he has more scruples than most folks makes it impossible for him to be bought. Yeah, bull. He's a Ralston. They're all money hungry. You just blew it. Okay, fine. Uh, if you really feel that way, you pick up the telephone and offer me a million, million dollars yourself. Come on, you know I can't bribe the boy. Hates my guts. Yeah. So I have heard many times in great detail. Now, trust me, Asa, this guy will not take your money no matter who offers it to him. Stupid kid. Years from now, he's going to wonder why he thought love was more important than life security. Especially when he marries a woman, don't love him. Yep, yeah, well, anyway, uh, I went into your phase two, and this came by a messenger from Louisiana. A complete dossier on Drew Ralston's life prior to moving to Lambview. Everything I need, right? I have no idea what's in there, Asa. I signed for the package, I jumped in my car, brought it over here for you to read. So for your sake, there better be some dirt. <laughs> Look, Echo, you told me this morning that Clint Buchanan was going to call you today. It is now 8 o'clock, and you still haven't heard from him. So what am I supposed to do, Giles? I left a message with the butler saying that I was moving out of Dorian's and moving in here. Well, maybe the butler forgot. He forgot to give him the message. Why don't you call and check out? How many times do I have to tell you? If I'm too aggressive, he'll simply back away. Hey, you listen to me, Echo. Vicky Buchanan will be back from that publisher's conference soon. Now, you're ruining a good opportunity for us. Now, you get on that phone with Clint Buchanan, and you finagle some way to spend some time with him alone. carrying away. Uh, thank you, really. I, I just, um, Herb, would you please take care of the gentleman? Oh, that's not necessary. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, you, this purse is very small, but I have a great deal of cash with me. Oh, I shouldn't have said that so loudly. Here you are. Thank you. Thank you for your honesty. So what about your shoes, my dear? Do you have them on? Don't be silly. I think you're safe now, David. Oh, that was close. Since she believes the man you hired is you, why'd you hide from her just now? Did you know Dorian Callison in the past? What past?
past. How long have you known me, Scott? It is the only possible explanation Scott, for the charade. Let it go. Have a bourbon on the rocks. I'll have a scotch and water. Well, even if it was one of your practical jokes, I think you only hurt yourself. In any case, you could have done a lot better job charming her than that opera singer you hired to impersonate you. I think she's a very beautiful woman. You tend to get along rather well with him. Not this one. She's not my type. And right now, we have to address ourselves to how you are accidentally going to bump into Mr. and Mrs. Callison and find out exactly what they thought of me. Giles, please don't order me around. You haven't been at my meetings with Clint, so you couldn't possibly know what is best. I know you have to continue putting on the pressure. Now you're acting like you don't want to do it. That's absurd. I just feel like I've gone a bit too far as it is. I mean, last night, pulling that stunt to get him to come over here and then having dinner all prepared. It worked, didn't it? Giles, the man isn't stupid. If he gets the feeling that I'm trying to seduce him, he'll... He'll leave here and we'll never see him again. That is, unless his wife, Vicky, is firmly attached to his arm. I still tell you that you cannot let a whole day go by without some contact with him. And I say you're wrong. Hello? Echo, it's Clint Buchanan. Clint, you must have ESP. I was just this minute thinking about you. How are you? Fine. Busy, but uh, I'm fine. Listen, are you still serious about doing some work for the banner? Oh, I am indeed. Uh, is there a fire somewhere you want me to cover? <laughs> no, I won't be sending you out on any fires or any accidents. Oh, I'm relieved. <laughs> uh, Edwina Lewis is taking over as editor of our Sunday magazine. Uh, she's coming over this evening to discuss some changes, uh, you know, in the format. And we both think that your, well, rather unique touch as a photographer would be a welcome addition. Well, I'm flattered. Um, so you'd like to have me join you this evening? Well, if you're, if you're free, yes. Uh, I know it's a little late for a meeting, and, well, it's a hot night out. We'll just be sitting around the pool. Oh, it sounds delightful. I'll uh, just grab a suit and come on over. Is Edwina there now? No, no, you haven't missed a thing yet. She hasn't arrived. Uh, She's typing up some notes. I reckon it'll be another, oh, 45 minutes or an hour before she gets here. All right. Well, I'll be there as soon as I can. Um, and thank you for inviting me. Mm-hmm. Bye. Tell me something. What does Edwina have to do with this? Well, unfortunately, she's supposed to be there, too, but um, I've been invited over to discuss business. Well, we can take care of that, can't we? What do you have in mind? Well, it's about time I make my little friendship with Edwina pay off for the both of us. I'll make sure she doesn't go to that meeting. However, you be there in your most provocative swimsuit. Mm -hmm. 